Ascendic Search app extends the Salesforce native search capabilities and makes it really easy to build targeted prospect lists, email lists, analyze all your data using charts and maps, which I'm looking forward to see. And then from that, you can go ahead and work with all of that, help you do more, increase your productivity. And you know what? This is even easy to use. So no, no matter whether you're a novice or an expert, you can perform complex searching, build related lists, and all kinds of other stuff. So without further ado, I got to let Wes Snow, CEO of Ascendix, show us what it's like. So Wes, are you ready to go? I'm ready to roll. Can you hear me all okay? Right. Welcome to this demo of Ascendix Search, an app that is listed out on the App Exchange. As an outside sales rep, time is money, and I want to make some prospecting calls to a targeted list of contacts in as streamlined a fashion as possible. By leveraging the Ascendix Search facility, I'm able to mine data and conduct searches in my Salesforce instance without having to run reports or build list views. Today, I'm going to create a list of contacts that are related to accounts that have employee totals that are at least 50 and have annual revenue that is at least 10 million, if not greater. I conduct my search and I get my list. I'm going to be sending out a direct mail piece and using an outside fulfillment house to actually do this for me, and as such, I want to export that list to Excel. With the export to Excel feature, I'm able to quickly do that. I've got 197 individuals that I'm going to be communicating with, uh, and this afternoon, I don't have enough time to get to all of them, and so I'm going to use the map facility to go in and filter down to just those that are in the southwest region of the United States. Clicking the filter by map, I now have a very approachable 19 prospects to approach here. Before actually making the phone calls, I recognize that industry is a column that I would like to have in my layout here that will help me guide my sales calls. So I click on select columns and I type in the account attribute of industry and I'm able to bring that over into the view despite it being a contact list. Bringing it up to the top, I'm able now to see that in focus. At this point, I want to schedule calls for each of these contact records for future reference. Selecting the checkbox, I'm able to use the bulk actions facility to quickly schedule a new phone call, in this case, prospecting. At that point, I select the date, next Friday, and hit save, and now I've got a meeting scheduled. Now it's time to begin my calls. I select Alex Cross as the first record in the list, and I'm able to see the details associated to Alex, any activities that have been scheduled or conducted in the past, along with any notes that I might have had, as well as the ability upon having reached Alex to schedule uh, future events, tasks, and or send up emails. And then from there, I can work the next record without having to toggle back and forth between a list and a detail view using this split screen. I recognize that there are a subset of records here that have finance industry specification and with a new product offering that we have from management i want to go out and send a direct mail piece or direct email specifically to those in the finance industry by conducting the search once again and using our charts and graphs facility i'm able to visualize the subset of data and also drill down into those that are in the finance industry by clicking on that pie i now have just those that are in finance i select the checkbox move over to my email facility and at that point I'm able to leverage a pre-existing template announcing the new product offering. Inserting that and then hitting the send button I'm now able to communicate effectively to all of those individuals. Knowing that the data is dynamic in the database I want to establish a baseline snapshot of all of those that were just communicated on this new product offering. To do so I click on the add to ad hoc lot list facility allowing me to put in finance snapshot prospects. At this point, I now have an established baseline that I can reference in the future. This is Ascentic Search. Thank you for your time. I got to ask, well, okay, I, I'm going to I'm going to ask a quick question. Did you actually just drag on that map in order to create that square when you filtered it down to the Dallas area? Yes. Yes. That was uh, wild. I've never seen anybody do that before, so that's actually really cool. So you know, just my take on what I'm seeing here is obviously the more data we store in Salesforce, the, you know, it's great to have it, but man, it's hard to 
find exactly what you're looking for and to be able to take all of that search criteria that you had, be able to quickly visualize it and then work it right down to your call list. And like you showed, you know, half your screen is on the list view. The other half, you're going to go ahead and create your activities, do all those calls, everything like that. That is frankly really slick and I like what I'm seeing in there. And so I, I can only imagine that, you know, if I was giving you a half hour sometime with, if we do the extended demo jam someday, maybe we'll, maybe we'll have to do that. But man, that was actually really cool. So I like what you did there. Good job with your demo. Appreciate I'm going to turn it over to Amanda quick and see what have we got for an audience question for Wes today? Yeah, great demo. Um, the question is around sales. So what's a typical use case for how um, you see a salesperson uh, using it um, versus just using regular Salesforce search? Yeah. So uh, what we've found is that sales reps are heavily dependent on administrators to create list views and or reports to greet, to put prospect lists together. And as these dynamics change for a salesperson, so too do the need to actually go in there and modify those process, prospecting lists. And so with this query by example concept, the, the end user, the sales rep is fully equipped to go in there and start doing what if analysis on various dimensions of the data and then quickly as you saw earlier get that result set and start getting down to business and that's making the phone calls smiling and dialing um, so that that'd be my quick response to that question <laughs> 